Start by logging into SIS and going to the student menu. From there, click on register, add, or drop. The first time you do this, you will see a notice indicating that you may not add or drop classes due to holds in your record. Click on holds. This will allow you to see what kind of hold you have. Your first one will likely be the fall financial agreement. Click on resolve, read the agreement, and then click on I agree to the terms above and wish to continue with course registration. You will then return to the student menu. In the student menu, you will want to open class search in a new tab. This will bring you to a drop down menu where you will select the term you would like to register for. In this case, fall 2019. In this screen, you can see all of the subject codes. You can select one or more codes to look at courses. You can also use the options at the bottom of the screen to restrict your search to certain days or times. We are going to look at economics. You can see a whole lot of information on this page. In blue, you will see the CRN of the course. Make note of these numbers. You'll want to know the CRN of courses you'd like to register for. You can also see the course subject, number, and section, as well as title. This page also has days and times listed for each course. One thing to pay close attention to are the middle columns of numbers. The first three columns tell you the course cap, how many students are actually registered, and how many remaining seats there are. The next three deal with waitlists for courses. The final three with Excel are for cross-listed courses. This is the total cap and registration when you include any cross-listing, which is where the course is listed in more than one way. You may also see some notes, which will tell you which courses are communication intensive. You may see courses with a C in the leftmost column. These are closed sections and you will not be able to register for these. Since the CRNs are blue, we can click on them to learn more information about the course. Just like on the previous screen, you can see the day, time, and location of the course. If you click on the blue course name at the top, you will be brought to a screen that shows you how many seats are available, as well as any prerequisite requirements or course restrictions. This is very helpful information. You can get back to the class search by hitting return to previous. To register from this page, you can click on the small box in the leftmost column on the course listing page and click register. This is not the only way to register. We will walk you through another option. While you have the class search tab open, you will also want to open the register add or drop menu, open another tab. Here you can type in the CRNs for the courses you would like to register. You can register for all of your courses at once. Once you have hit the submit changes, you will see that under current schedule, you have a course listed as registered. As you add courses, you may come across errors if you don't check requirements first. This course with CRN 81530 gave a registration add error that indicated it has a time conflict. Registering for the course with CRN 81071, you'll notice, produces another registration error saying that the course is restricted to certain majors. If you feel that you are getting any of these restrictions in error, please contact your hub advisor. The third tab you will want open while you register is the View Weekly Schedule Day Time Grid. This will show you what your schedule looks like on a weekly basis. It may show the current week, so to adjust that, change the date in the top right of the screen. This will let you see what your fall schedule looks like.